For practice exercise 12.3 write sequence, we want to write a methods write sequence. It accepts an integer n as parameter and then it prints something like this. So let's start that off. We have a public static. Since we're just printing, it should be a void return. We have our write sequence inside of here. And now we want to pass in our int n. It asks us to throw in a legal argument exception if passed a value less than one. That's pretty simple. All we're gonna do is if our n is less than one, we are going to throw a new legal argument exception and end this right here. Otherwise, we need a base case. This is pretty important so that we end our recursion. And then we're going to also have just an else where we do everything inside of here. So those are the two different things we're gonna do and then we're gonna end our method. Instead of our else if, our base case should be this one because it ends at one right here, right? So if n is equal to one, we're just gonna to want to do a system.out.print because we wanna print on the same line and we'll print out one. Notice though how after some of these we have spaces. So let's do one and then a space for this string. Now let's handle this else statement. Instead of our else statement, we want to, let's say, give an example, we pass in 10, right? We obviously want to print it divided by two. So let's do that first. System.out.print, we're passed in 10. We are just going to do um, n divided by two. I'm thinking though, look at this nine. This nine, it's divided by two, it's gonna give us five. So let's add one to this. And it's okay if we round up because when we divide by two, we're going to be rounding down. So n plus one divided by two, and then we'll add a space to this. So that should give us everything for our first number. Notice how our first number is the same for one odd down. So that's going to be inside of our else statement. It's going to be our prints. So now that we wanna handle our recursion, we've handled this first one, it's five. How do we get our recursion? Well, let's look at 10 first. What, how do we get this to be eight? If we subtract two from it and then divide it, we can get eight. If we do the same, th or we can get four. And then we have eight in here. If we pass in eight again, but subtract two, we'll get six divided by two, that'll give us three. And that's going to be the same for this one. So let's do that. We want to do this as long as our n is above a certain value. Now we can say above one, we know it has to be above one, otherwise it'll throw a new illegal argument exception. But it has to eventually equal one, right? So once it equals one, it's going to print. We don't want it to be less than that. And we're subtracting two each time. So we could say as long as n is greater than two, we can do our write sequence. Oh, I copied that wrong. So write sequence, and then we'll pass in our n minus two. And that's just so we can go down and divide. After we do all of this, we have our function doing its thing. We want to unwind and print everything after this. So what we can do is have the system to out.print and then just print this again because we will be printing our current n and that should print everything else out. So let's submit this. So that is the code we could use to solve this practice exercise 12.3 write sequence.